All right, I'm back here with the finished model. So everything is done, painted, and weathered, and sealed up. Um, there's a few things I didn't finish, and I'll go through that as I go through the, through the build. Um, so basically, I mean, the kit does live up to is moniker being an easy assembly. Parts go together really well. The only fit issue I really see is the two halves where they go together, where you do have that seam running along in the middle here uh, that you need to touch up. Um, I think Hobby Boss would have been better off instead of making a straight cut which cut across panels is to make it such that it went along the panel lines uh, and that would be better I think for hiding the seams uh, and make a nicer overall easier build in my opinion. Um, but otherwise the fit is great. Um, now uh, as far as the instructions, the instructions were fine. Um, they, they follow them pretty well. Uh, when it comes down to the painting guide, uh, like I, I think I mentioned before, I mean they're questionable. So even if you're following using the decals of the paint scheme that uh, comes with the kit, I would still refer to some sources because I don't think the uh, paint schemes or the painting guides are 100% accurate. Uh, same thing with applying the decals. Um, when I went to apply the decals for this, um, I started off with the wings, which is usually what I do, uh, since those are usually the bigger decals. And I start off with this decal. Uh, now, the way that the uh, the decal guy goes, this was labeled as one number, um, and then the side decals over here was labeled as a different number. Well, unfortunately, uh, they were actually switched. They had the wrong numbers in the wrong place. So the one that they had labeled to go here in the wing actually goes on the side boom. The one that goes to the side boom actually goes to the wing, uh, so they are uh, incorrect. Unfortunately, by the time I laid this down, the decals go down really well. Um, I'll give them that. I have no problems with decals the way they laid, just the way the instructions, the uh, placement guide was labeled. Uh, so it was too late to lift this up. I thought about maybe scratching it off, repainting, but that means redoing the whole wing, and I really didn't feel like doing that. Uh, what I did, um, I looked in my um, spare decal box, and I found some decals that matched the same size, so I had them here to the boom. Um, I kept that one as is, and the one underneath, uh, I have the correct one, and I'll show you that in a second. Um, that was one uh, thing about the uh, decals, but otherwise they sit, they lay down very well, very well. Uh, in fact, let me show you here, let me see if I can get this to focus here. Um, you can see here in the tail boom here, um, the way that the decals just went right there in in the recess there um, so they do lay down very well uh, even these flat decals around this rounded piece here uh, they lay down very very well as well so I have no problems with the decals whatsoever as far as the way they lay down not whether or not they're accurate that's a different question uh, now here as I have it here in my little Tamiya stand you see I have the boom here resting um, they clipped there. Um, re reason being is that I thought I had it enough weight here in the nose for this, but apparently I did not. Um, so whatever weight you think you may need, uh, double that. Um, so my plane is a tail sitter. Um, so I'll see what I do about that. Uh, I'll maybe just put something to hold it up while on display, or also underneath uh, the vents down here are open. So maybe I'll get some small BBs, pour them in there. I, I don't know. I might just leave it as is. But you know, let me just show you the rest of the. Uh, bottom here. Uh, now I had intended to put on the uh, the rockets at the bottom. Uh, in fact, I had the rockets all painted and everything all set. Uh, fortunately, Fumble's fingers here dropped the thing, um, and I wound up losing one of the rockets, so I'm one short. So I just went ahead and uh, left them off. And unfortunately, these little scar holes here, uh, since I didn't fill them during the construction. Uh, I mean, I filled them up, but uh, you can still tell that there used to be something there. There should be something there. Um, I decided on using the bombs instead of the fuel tanks, just because the little small one that I did, 72nd one before, um, I did use the fuel tanks, so just to use something different. Uh, and there is your cockpit. Uh, While well, the camera picks it up, I'll zoom in in a second and show you some of the details. There she is. You can see a little closer there. That's yeah, focusing. Now I try looking up this bird that they have here, one number 135. 
online. I couldn't find any information about the actual plane, so I don't know if this is a real or this is a little error on um, Hobby Boss's part on these decals. Um, the Hades, the Hells sign here. Um, I did see some other planes from this squadron uh, where the decals are slightly different, especially here in the nose. So, it's probably some, again, some errors here. So, if you do pick up this kit, maybe you want to look at some aftermarket decals uh, for this instead. There you can see the uh, instrument panel. The no step on the glass. Excuse the reflection there from the window. Uh, so overall, I mean, it's a nice kit, nice good details. Um, Build-wise, fine, except for the boom that I had mentioned before. Um, and uh, the painting guide and decal placement uh, leaves a little to be desired. Uh, but otherwise, it's a good build. I mean, I recommend it. I mean, uh, you don't always need the most complicated, most complex kit uh, all the time. It's nice to have a, little, a kit that's nice, well-engineered, um, nice details. Um, that you can put together in a relatively short mouse space or just make, take it easy uh, in between some other more long long term or complex builds um, so actually uh, kind of inspires me to go ahead and maybe get some of the other easy assembly kits I think they got what the P40, uh, P uh, Thunderbolt and the Huey uh, so maybe I'll get some of those uh, as well it's good to have in the stash like I said uh, it's good to have those easy kits um, uh, I did this over a period of three weeks just because I had a lot of work, but this is a kit that you can easily do this over a week or even a long weekend uh, in between letting the paint dry and so forth. Anyway, so I'll leave you off uh, with some more views of this and uh, thank you for watching and I hope you guys are enjoying your builds. All right, thank you again.